First introduction. Teng teng, or also known as keting ting or cengket cengket, uh, is a traditional game that played by previous generation and is increasingly forgotten nowadays. It is played by both men and women, although it is preferred by girls rather than boys because the, this game is gentle and suitable for women. Before playing the game, players need a large and suitable area. In rural areas, arenas are made by simply writing lines on the ground using sharpened stones or tree branches. While in urban areas, fields can be created by throwing chalk on the floor. This game can be played by two until four people per field. Second rules of the game number of players and selection. Games of four in a team. The selection is done by chanting Lai Lai Templum to split multiple players. The palm or back of the hand is used to determine the teams. The team is decided if there are two people equally stretching the palms of the hands or two people stretching out the back of the hands. One player is selected from each team, and the order is determined by rock, paper, scissors. Rock can beat scissors, scissors can beat paper, paper can rock, beat rock. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. The game can be played on grassy fields, sandy sides, sand, or concrete. The game contains nine squares measuring 40, 10, 40 centimeters. It has a starting line measuring one meter from the beginning of the square. The shooters used are made of sewing cloth filled with sand of two inches or the easiest is to use stone. Third rules of the game, stage the first. The first player stands at the starting position in front of the first square and tosses the shooter into square one. Hop on one foot to squares two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and jump to the ninth square with both feet. Fourth rules of the game, stage two. Turn around and hop to squares five, four, three, two with one foot. Bend to pick up the shooter at square one. Fifth rules of the game, stage three. Balance the shooter in the hand. Hop some one foot to squares one, two, three, four, five and place the feet in square six and eight. Bridge walks back to the starting line. Sixth rules of the game, stage four. Put the shooter on the forehead without jumping. Drop the shooter without bending the body. Back to the starting line. The player gets one point. Seventh rules of the game. Repeat stage one to stage four. The game continues by tossing the shooter to the second square. Repeat stage one to stage four. Five rules of the game. Fold moves. Touching on the lines. Changing foot while or jumping to the next squares. The toss shooter lands outside the square or misplace the square. The shooter fell to the ground while in the game. Step on your own or opponent shooters. Ninth, let's talk about it. A word circulated saying is that the Ding Ding game originated in Italy and quickly became popular around the world due to its relatively simple uh, gameplay and fun and become a childhood game for children in many countries. Playing this game is not limited to time, place and age as long as you pick up a small stone and a wheel. You can draw a set of grids on the ground for the game. Multiple versions of Ding Ding has been derived out. The main uh, difference is the grid shape. The game can be played by one person or with multiplayer individuals, and the mechanics are quite flexible. Jump. Pick up and other movements can be used as a 
a relatively low intensity exercise to achieve the purpose of physical exercise and also test the balance and our coordination of the human body is conducted to the growth and in de development of children. To some extent, more pleasures gain uh, reflect the cooperation uh, competition which is uh, conducted through children's mental growth. The game is interesting and not difficult and it is very popular among children in China. I often play this game with my friends when I was a child and had a lot of fun. Tun Tun, a traditional game in Malaysia, as one of the Malay cultural heritage is still popular nowadays. It's a children's game that is not only entertainment but also beneficial for mental and physical to the players. The story of Tun Tun introduced among the Roman soldiers as a military training who owned physical strength and winning lines. I feel familiar with Tun Tun the first time I saw the game picture. Because in China there is a game similar to Tun Tun called Tiao Fang Zi. During the 1950s to the 1980s, Tiao Fang Zi was quite common on children's playground. In open spaces, as long as there was a tree block or chop, children would play Tiao Fang together any time. This game's origin is similar to that of Tun Tun, which is also adapted from normal military training. In terms of the gameplay, both games require you to draw a certain number of the boxes on the ground and then complete the game inside the box. The different from Tun Tun is that Tiao Fang is played only with one foot, while at the same time you need to kick box called Zi, which can be stone, tiles, setbacks, wooden blocks, iron boxes, to an appropriate box. Tiao Fang and Tun Tun are both outdoor games. It is generally children who participate in this type of the game. All those young people are not excluded. In order to win the game, it is essential to have a good balance and a good jumping ability in the body. Therefore, the game can effectively improve children's physical functions. Furthermore, children benefit from the game in ways that go far beyond exciting physical. In most cases, Tenta is a multiplayer game even though it can also be played by one individual. In multiplayer games, children are able to develop a sense of a community, a sense of a winners and rewards, and a sense of losers. As an international student, the practice of Tintin does not necessarily improve balance and jumping ability, but it does enable us to gain an understanding of the Malaysia culture in its traditional form. Particularly, if we are able to play the game with no cars, we will be more likely to integrate into their life and make no car friends with through the corporate play and conversation.